Today I was I had to actually hand them over to the reg. Okay. So should I just yeah. I was on Perfect. EAU. Yeah. Um okay, so um I'm an F one doctor on EAU and I've just collected a patient who's been referred from her GP. Okay. Um she's a thirty five year old lady and she's got um quite moderate to severe ab- abdominal pain. Um, this has been going on for three days, um, and it's about a six out of ten. Um, but she's had it intermittently for three months um, with associated nausea. Over the past three days, she's also been vomiting. I'm quite worried about her because um, the pain really is quite severe, and I really think that you should come down because um, I think that some imaging and further investigations might be needed. Her odds are currently stable, but she is in quite a lot of pain. She's declined pain relief. Um, but given her previous history of a cholecystectomy 18 months ago, I'm worried that there might be some ductal obstruction causing pancreatitis. Um, um, examination of the abdomen, she's generally tender, but she's not rigid or guarding. Um, and there's no obvious um, um, masses. The GP was worried it might be a um, strangulated hernia, but I don't believe this is the case. She's vomited six times over the past three days and she's got no associated fever at the moment, but I'm quite worried that she might deteriorate quickly. I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but I'm, um, we've done bloods and also we're arranging a chest x-ray to make sure there's no um, bowel, obstru- bowel obstruction and air under the diaphragm. But I really think that she might need an ultrasound tomorrow or as soon as possible. Um, to see what's going on. Hi, can you put me through to the med reg on call? Okay, just transferring you. Hi, it's the medical reg. Hi, my name's Nick, I'm one of the F1s on uh, AMU. Um, I've got a patient here who I just want a bit of advice on, really. Okay. Um, her name's uh, Diane Preston. She's a 34 year old lady who's four weeks postpartum. Mm-hmm. She's suffered from antenatal depression before, and this morning she took 31 paracetamol. Uh, tablets at 9.30. Um, she's come in, she's feeling, she's quite withdrawn, uh, worrying about her children, um, but she's cooperative with treatment. She's stable at the moment and we've set up, uh, we did, we sent off some bloods and uh, her paracetamol level came back as 230 milligrams per litre. So okay. we've started her on a stat infusion. What, what, oh. what time was that? What time did you take the bloods? About 1.30. One thirty. Okay, and was that within four hours before or after four hours? It was after four hours. Four hours. Okay, okay, fine. Four and a half hours. So she was above the treatment line? Uh, well, just, yeah. Okay, just? Well, by half an hour. Okay. By, by half an hour. She's above the treatment line for treating someone for a paracetamol overdose? Yes. Okay, and what have you done? So we've we've put up uh, uh, an infusion over an hour of NAC. Okay. How are you feeling, Mr. Preston? Um, and then we've written up the further doses. Oh, you have? Good. Yeah. Um, I'm just wondering if there's anything else we need to do. Where do you want me to put my hands to it? Um, so I'd maybe, if, yeah, or you could Here. stand at the head of the bed and like have his feet together. Okay. And then maybe just, I think we've given him some morphine to hopefully it'll be okay if you straighten it. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to straighten your leg, Luke. Okay. Probably should just leave that. Okay. Luke, we're going to roll you um, and I'm going to have a look at your back when we do that. Uh, okay. I'm going to press along your back. I want you to let me know if you feel any pain as I'm doing that. That's right. okay. I quite like to see his back so maybe. Yeah. We'll probably take off. Like um, if maybe when we roll him over, if you can just lift this up. Yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, I did realise it was quite cut. Who's cut. directing the role? I'll do it. Okay. Okay, on three, three, two, one. It's not quite on three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on one. We'll go through how you properly do log rolls. So yeah. you can palpate from the C spine mm. all the way down. What do you need to ask your patient? Um, is there any pain when I'm pressing? No. at all? Okay. No. So okay. Okay, that's fine. What else would you consider at the back side? Mm-hmm. Oh, um, PR. Yeah. For okay, we already do that. Yeah. Okay, she run back. Yep. Yep. One. Yeah. Okay, so on three, one, two, three. Okay, so I'm happy with the back. Okay, so we'll give the um from the parent. If she's feeling injection, I'm not feeling that one ready. Oh, that's better. Like, oh, what? I don't know what you've done, doctors. Oh, metaclopramide. Doctor, did you put a date on it or the time? I don't know. Uh, 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 yeah, be. Oh, Doctor, what's happening? Uh, How do you guys think that went? Um, it's okay. Um, yeah, it's hard. Yeah, it's really, it's, it's really hard difficult, to isn't it? Stuff. It's really, really it's difficult. Like two things going on: the acute medical problem and the fight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I yeah. felt bad like when she kept going on to me, like how she wanted to die and. Like she hates herself, and I was like trying to be sympathetic with them, trying to deal with the medical stuff as well. Yeah. Felt like I was ignoring her a bit. Felt quite bad. No, it, no but you, it, did. It, you did. You did very well. You did, fine. You did very well. Yeah. And it, it, these kind of cases happen like this. They do. Yeah, this case is based on a patient I had to manage as an F two. So um, you, you you did the right thing. You introduced yourself. You you actually your history was very good. You established that she had a lot of risk factors, and you established um, that. You were quite right in asking her, did you take the paracetamol all in one go or was it um, staggered? Because that affects the management of a paracetamol overdose. Um, you. My notes. My notes. Why, why is that important? Yeah, why is that important? It's staggered. You always treat staggered ones. But yeah, why, is, why is timing so important? Yeah, and it's heart rates at 110. She looks really short of breath. 